So there's urine in the dating pool. But is that due to women not respecting men? But are men worthy of respect these days? Fellas, let's talk about it. Welcome to the lounge. Let's go. Hey, I, I do said this is a lounge. Culture and justice, you know you can trust that we holding it down. Well, you can bet we applying that pressure to come by the pound. Speaking the truth and a lot just to do, it makes us so profound. That's why we got the crown. Said this is a lounge. Culture and justice, you know you can trust that we holding it down. Well, you can bet we applying that pressure to come by the pound. We living better no matter the weather, we sticking around. Come see what we found. Yeah, this is the lounge. VSOP for the record, no better. Yeah, this for the wealth. Both of the people are equals, no better. To speak for the culture, our needs, and our health. Conscious it reign with dignity, giving the keys to victory and being a man. Lift up the culture, protected from leeches and vultures, and speak for who need in their hands. Cause this is the lounge. Welcome back inside the VSOP lounge. I, of course, am your host, the captain of the cool kids, host of the Grown Man Logic podcast, Dewan J. And I hope. I hope that all is well. If you did not catch the banger that I just dropped um, featuring Kill Bill, bias, inadequacy, laziness, and lackadaisicalness, please go back. Go back and, and watch. Get yourself a dose of the four qualities that are killing us softly. From the inside out. Um, it was a beautiful series, nothing but positive feedback, and I thank you guys for being attentive and being responsive and getting the likes up and, and things of that nature. Um, if you're enjoying this content and you happen to be watching this on YouTube, then please, by all means, hit the subscribe button. If you're catching this in a podcast format, then by all means. Hit the subscribe button. Leave me a review wherever you're finding this. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Good Pod, wherever you're finding this. Leave me a review. Um, it's very important that I hear from the grown-ups uh, in terms of how we're doing, the content that you want to hear. But you heard the intro. You seen the thumbnail. You know what it's time to do. And we're going to get into it. Um, it appears that the reason that there's pee or urine or the dating pool has been dubbed the ghetto is because there's a lack of respect for men. And it may not necessarily be the women's fault. Our drink of the evening. Because this is a stern and a stark and an honest conversation. Our drink of the evening is a Knob Creek on the rocks. Knob Creek on the rocks brought to you in this beautiful 14.5 ounce highball glass available on the shop. GrownManLogicPod.com shop. GrownManLogicPod.com Knob Creek on the rocks. Stiff drink for a stiff conversation. I'm about to bring to you. I'm about to bring to you a seven-part series entitled "Respect," and fellas, this conversation is aimed at you. Ladies, hit the like button, hit the dislike button, comment below. Let me know if you're agreeing, if you're not agreeing. Um, but I think that we're gonna find some common ground here. I extended an olive branch. Uh, from the, the smoke throwing, so to speak. Um, but we're going to go through the elements of respect. Um, and tonight, tonight we're going to talk about responsibility. Responsibility is defined as the state or fact of having duty to deal with something or having control over someone. Now, it seems a, a bit ambiguous, right? But ladies, can you guys agree that there's nothing more attractive than a responsible man? Why is that? Why is that? 
is because when a man is responsible or displays responsible behavior, it speaks to uh, confidence, courage, and integrity. When you're dealing with when you're dealing with a, a man who displays responsibility or a man with a lot of responsibility on his shoulders and he has um, navigated successfully or been a success at navigating these things, then it shows and it speaks to this lady that this man is confident, he's courageous, and that he has integrity. The confidence comes from being tested, completing tasks successfully. So they know that they can depend on the man because he's been tested. He's battle tested. He wouldn't be in a position of power and or leadership had he not passed certain tests and certain benchmarks prior to. And fellas, this is where this is where we have to um, pause for a second and, and look in the mirror and take a self analysis. And, and what kind of test have we passed in our lives? If I'm being honest and and being quite frank and I'm being quite real with you um, as a black man in America, speaking from personal experience, there's there's nothing more testing. Right. Um, you're judged when you're walking down the street. You're judged for wearing a hoodie. You're judged if you have too many tattoos, judged if you're too big, judged if you're too small, judged if you grow your hair out a certain way, color it a certain color. And your individuality is questioned on a day to day basis. But these things aren't tests. I've spoken candidly and and honestly and and begged for everyone to read the rules of the room that they're trying to play in. And in America, there's nothing wrong with individuality. In fact, that's where our strength comes from. However, is that the kind of rules that you want to play in? What benchmarks have you accomplished? What are you bringing? There's a heavy debate right now on what men are actually bringing to the table versus what women are bringing to the table. And should the question be asked? Should the question not be asked? These things are, are, are being discussed heavily across many a podcast, many a talk show, many of interview and, you know, celebrities are weighing in and influencers are weighing in and everybody seems to have an opinion. But at the end of the day, what do the facts say? Logic would have you lean towards the facts, the statistics. What benchmarks what benchmarks have we have we passed? What benchmarks um, have we completed successfully that we have as notches under our belts? And I'm not talking about uh, sleeping with women. I'm not talking about bottle service or VIP service at the club. I'm talking about what struggles have you overcome? What have you overcome to climb a letter of success that will land you in a position of power and influence? Confidence. There's a story about a ceramic piece of gear that is on a shelf and nobody's allowed to touch this ceramic piece. But the story of that ceramic piece becoming what it is starts with being taken off the banks of a river, being pressed and molded into a shape, put into a fire two to three times, depending on the level of glaze that we want on that ceramic piece. And then it becomes a piece to be sat on the shelf and to be admired. Nobody wants a victim, fellas. No lady wants a victim. No lady wants a person that is a victim of circumstance, always has an excuse, which we'll get to later. When we talk about effort next week, we'll get to it. But no woman wants a man full of excuses. Effort, execution over excuses. I've talked about it in the book, Dear Dominic. I've talked about it on the Grown Man Logic podcast. And here it comes up yet again. Courage. No man in a position of leadership got to that position without failing. I don't care if it was Gates, if it was Bezos, if it was Brunson, if it was Cuban, if it was Damon John, anybody on Shark Tank, Diddy. They've all failed. 
We've all failed. If you're a Christian, then the Bible talks about it. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. Failing. But courage, courage comes from failure and taking accountability for that failure. Because once you fail and you bounce back from that failure, you know that you can do it again. So you're not afraid to take risk. You're not afraid to dive in 100% and be committed. There's no wall up. There's no guard up because you've taken accountability for the, the part that you failed. Integrity. Integrity comes from dealing with pressure and knowing what to do and what not to do. And that translates into you being a man and to being a leader. Because you can be trusted to do the right thing, even when there's no one looking. We all know the definition of integrity. We've seen the quotes. We've seen the memes. We have talked about it until we're blue in the face. But a man that deals with responsibility. A man that displays responsibleness comes with these things, thus making him more attractive. There are several characteristics of responsible people. We'll go through a few of them. But before we get there, we have to we have to pause and we have to think about this. Okay. It doesn't take much to get the respect of people around you. It just takes takes a little bit of you showing up and being the man that you pretend to be on Instagram. It takes a little bit of you showing up pretend uh, and, and actually being the man that you pretend to be in podcast on Twitter um, to your family, to the women that you're trying to impress at the club, to be worthy of the car that you're driving or the designer jeans that you're wearing or the belt. It takes a, a level of responsibility. It takes taking risks. It takes having a little bit of integrity to be worthy of these things. Characteristics of a responsible person. People don't make excuses. Sticking to your word, even at an inconvenience to yourself. Your word is your bond. What does that mean? Well, fellas, the women will tell you. If you say that you're coming home at 1030 and 1130 hits, you've broken your word. And no matter what the excuse is, no matter what the, the reason is, you, you've broken your word. So short of an emergency you know, a car breaking down, you being hurt, chilling at Mark's crib, playing Xbox, ain't going to work. I got caught up in a pool game down at the pool hall. It's not going to work. I wasn't driving and I was too drunk to drive. It's not going to work. Because what that does is it shows that you have rearranged things on the priority scale. It doesn't matter um, what what you were doing. If you were going out with your boys and you told her that you were going to pick her up, you were going to show up, you're going to go home, you're going to be home by this time, and you break it, something that simple, your word is broken. And, and knowing when to say no, knowing when to say no, a responsible person does not commit to things that they know that they cannot fulfill. Now, um, a personal anecdote, right? Like I... There were times in my life where I took on too much and things slipped through the cracks. My, my self-image suffered and there was nobody to blame but myself. I own that. And to those people, I have apologized. And if I didn't or you somehow missed the apology text or message or phone call or what have you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There were times in my life where I did not live up to my word and my my reputation suffered because of it. So when when things like that happen, we begin to lose that image of responsibleness. And with that image of responsibility goes a little bit of attraction. Life 
Another characteristic. Responsible people's lives are organized. Agendas, planners, apps. They stay on top of goals, tasks, and personal events to make sure that nothing gets missed. See, the lesson learned here is after failing, after dropping the ball a few times on things that I said that I would accomplish, I started to put everything in my calendar. Old school plays to tell you about PDAs and Blackberries. Um, you download Microsoft Outlook and you know you get calendar reminders, but now it's right there. Everyone owns a smartphone with a calendar input device. So you shouldn't be missing anything. Baby showers, weddings, kids' birthdays, anniversaries. There's no excuse. None. Because your life is organized. Even the personal events. Not just at work, but more so the personal events. Date at 7. You show up at 7.30. You're late. Drop the ball. When bills are due, the credit card statement closes on the 19th. You should be paying the bill by the 15th. Statement brings out a zero balance or a no minimum payment due, raising the credit score. And there's a domino effect that goes along with all of these things. But we have to get organized. And organization brings about discipline and brings about structure. So then we don't have to ask the question, where are the submissive women? And then the women rebuttal to us. I'll submit to a man that's worthy of following. These are the things. In this series, you're going to learn these things. Right now, we're on responsibility and we're talking about organization. If your life is, if, you're, if your house is chaotic and it looks like that you live in a life of chaos, you're not going to get the confidence of anybody. Nobody's going to follow you. Why? Because it looks like your life is chaotic. Who the hell wants to follow chaos? I can follow chaos by myself. You're not attractive or alluring to anyone. But let somebody show up to your house, be it a business dinner, be it uh, a housewarming party, a party for someone else, a gathering, a kickback or whatever. You begin to influence those around you because it looks like you have your shit together. And that's attractive. And it's also the first representation of yourself that you're able to give. And I don't know how many times we see uh, posts on social media of a guy. He's you know in the mirror with a selfie. He's got on uh, a five hundred dollar belt, but no bed frame, not even a sleigh bed. Um. How many times you got on designer sneakers? You can show me uh, 1500 $2,000, $3,000 in cash, and you don't have any pictures or no home decor. You don't even have curtains in your house. You can show me, you know, all of this money, $4,000, $5,000, but you're two car payments behind. You're about to be evicted because the rent is, is has been due. It's the 15th and you were supposed to pay about a fifth at the latest, right? And we expect people to follow us. We expect women to follow us. We expect women to be submissive when we can't handle simple things on our own. No, that's not how the game works. That's not how the game works. And no, no woman paid me to make this series or anything. It was just, look, I'm, I'm tired of, I'm tired of seeing I'm tired of seeing um, the disrespect of men, but at the end of the day, we got to hold up a mirror. So ladies, this is that mirror. Another characteristic, always on time, doesn't procrastinate in being consistent. Self-explanatory. Um, we responsible people understand that the trust, it needs to be earned and we're willing to work for it. You didn't get that high level position because you uh, just showed up one day and your resume said that you were qualified. No, it's not how it works.
in the business world, no matter what world, in order to be entrusted with projects, um, high ticket things, things of value and of note to the company, you, you have to show up and you have to show out often. And you have to prove yourself every day. But people that are responsible, that are in high level positions, that are attractive to other people, that can influence their environment, know these things. And we're willing to be tried again. There's no need to complain because we practice emotional control. The appropriate response is at the appropriate time. For every person that somebody has you fucked up or for every person that uh, it ain't going down like this. They must not know about me. You, you don't know me. For every person beating their chest like that, there's a calm, cool, collected dude that's sitting in the corner way back like, I'm just as angry as he is, but it doesn't take all of that. Have a bit of emotional intelligence because what that brings is effective communication. And we're going to get to that later. Um, in, in a couple of weeks, we're going to talk about uh, charisma and communication inside this series. Listen, subscribe to your boy. This, this series is going to be a banger. Um, for self-discipline. Now, self-discipline is a learned behavior. And it takes time and it takes practice and it definitely takes sacrifice. Those that are close to me inside of my inner circle will tell you that I'm in a gym every day, 4.30 a.m. at the latest. I'm in there clanging and banging like a madman. But Dominic doesn't miss anything. I've never missed a birthday, anniversary, um, nothing. Because I'm structured and I'm organized. You see how all of these things begin to uh, connect. And it takes a little bit of sacrifice. And sleep, for me, was the easiest thing to sacrifice. There's no success without sacrifice. So it's, it's just choosing the what at this point and this juncture in the game. If you're trying to develop respect. Those words literally leave the mouths of people. Dewan J, I see you in here every day, five o'clock, and you're you're in, you're in a good mood. Blah, blah blah. Much respect. Oh man, I see how much weight you lift. Much respect. It, it, it didn't happen overnight. It took time. High testosterone levels. Do I have to say more? When people see men that are responsible and that are in charge of things, they know that they, they're operating at a high testosterone level, which makes them effective everywhere. They're driven. They're assertive when they need to be. They're chill when they need to be. They get what they want. And then they use tact while they're doing it without infringing upon the rights of other people. They're good people. And the ladies will tell you that it don't hurt in the bedroom, too. You know what I'm saying? High testosterone levels, even, even manifestation. Manifestation takes responsibility. And that's when you start getting into the good, the bad, and the ugly of taking responsibility for everything in your life. See, a lot of us don't want to do that. We don't like doing that. We don't like looking in the mirror because it's too painful. But a responsible person looks in that mirror. And he challenges the mirror. Just as much as the mirror challenges him or her. We, we, we can't externally blame. We have a tendency in our mind to blame external forces for our failures. But when someone else fails, we tend to blame them and internal. No, that's not how it works. Everything's internal. Everything can be fixed internally. We just have to take a little bit of responsibility. And then once you take that responsibility for everything in your life, your law of attraction begins to kick in when you can start talking about things that you want instead of things that you don't want. How many times have you said, man, I don't want to, I don't want this. I don't want that. I don't want this. I don't want that. Well, the law of attraction says that you're going to eventually begin to attract these sorts of things. Steve Pavlina 
said, by taking responsibility of something, you also take the power to change it. So if you don't like the, the situation that you're in, change it. Change it. Because having responsibility makes you a person of action. And shout out to the great man MTR. Women, women like men to get active. So we have to begin to start to take some of this respect back. Tonight we tackle responsibility. Next week we're going to tackle effort. And so on and so forth. We're going to continue going down the list. Seven part series right now. Um, if you want to donate to support the show. Our cash tag is GML podcast dollar sign GML podcast. If you want to cop some merch like this glass, 14.5 ounces. It is available at shopgrownmanlogicpod.com, shopgrownmanlogicpod.com. My co-host and I have came out, have released fragrances that are now available at shopgrownmanlogicpod.com, shopgrownmanlogicpod.com. And if you're following us on social media platforms, you'll get access to what the notes are and why you should have these in your life. This has... Ben, your episode or your edition of the VSOP Lounge. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Cheers.